Hello YouTube. How's it going? Time for a quick update on the status of the Ender 2, the Mono Price Maker Ultimate, and the TiVo Tornado. So the Ender 2 has had a few tweaks. Um, we've put a Y-belt tensioner, an adjustable Y-belt tensioner on there. The X tensioner. And the biggest mod is the entire enclosure was swapped to one that tilts the LCD forward so you can actually see it, you know, from a reasonable angle instead of having to be sitting straight on top of it. Uh, it's also got great wire management built in. And then that little tool tray there, filling that gap between the 2020 extrusion and the chassis that I printed. So that tool tray is really nice, locks in place in the rail. There'll be links to that below. And I was able to get the rear bed knob on. So that's done. I'm pretty much done with all Ender mods, with the exception of this right here that I need a 30 millimeter screw for. And this is an adjustable thumb wheel adjustable Z-stop that'll replace that right there, that blue one. So that's the only thing I have left to install on it. Uh, really happy. Prints are amazing. I did a little bit of tweaking. Print quality improved as well. Uh, the tweaking was I unscrewed the Z motor from this rail, the back side of this rail, and stuck a one millimeter spacer behind it with uh, all, everything for the Z screw loose. And when I did that, it kept the alignment of everything, the Z screw, the piece at the top, and the little collar that's here in the extruder. It made everything uh, align better, not be kicked out to the side as much, and gave me smoother Z-axis motion. So, oh, and one more thing. This, I have a piece of this Capricorn tube. That's going to replace the Bowden tube here. Uh, for higher temperatures, not that I'll likely do any with the Ender 2. Sorry about my finger. Um, but... I intend to do it primarily just because that's uh, generally that Bowden tube is slipperier than even regular Teflon. It's just a higher quality. It's better dimensionally accurate. So I'm going to swap it out. It may be a complete waste without higher temps. So that's our Ender 2 update. What are we printing? We're printing this what's called a bathtub boat. Uh, it's a version of a Benchy that's kind of like a cross between Noah's Ark and a Benchy. So, you can see a few imperfections in the side, but I'm only doing a 15% infill because this boat apparently actually floats, unlike the Benchy. And I'm using a hex infill pattern, and you can see it coming through the sidewalls a little bit. So, that's something. But, the quality so far is pretty nice. Um, when I started doing that print, I decided to take this opportunity, and I have every printer printing the exact same thing. So this is the Mono Price Maker Ultimate. Uh, back in business, printing non-stop, turning out really nice quality prints. I had a little bit of issues with the woefully inadequate cooling solution. Uh, ironically enough, the Mono Price needed a cooling upgrade even more than the Ender 2, and the Ender 2 doesn't have a parts cooling fan. So that tells you something. <laughs> but if I come in close, you can start to get an idea. You can see the shine on that. On that boat. But that's the uh, cooling upgrade that I installed. It's got a 5015 fan. And I picked up some silicon boots. I believe they're actually for sandblasting or something. High temperature silicon boots. Uh, 25 pack for 10 bucks. Used an X-Acto knife. Cut out the boot exactly where the... Uh, hot tube came through and the nozzle came out and away I go. That made a big difference. Um, I can show you that. These three test blocks, look, look at this test block here. Do you see how the edge is the edge of this right right there. It's real rough. Same with that one and it's swollen up. And same with that one. Well, this blue one, same temperature, same filament. The only difference is the cooling upgrades. And the edge looks immaculate. The block came out great. Uh, I'm really happy. So this printer really did need the cooling upgrade bad. Uh, worked out really well. 
another upgrade. I have one more upgrade to show you for this printer. And I don't have it wired yet, but I found a new filament guide bracket. So instead of the ball style that I showed you in past videos, this one holds a Bowden tube. And the advantage of that is the Bowden tube keeps the filament from rubbing on the, this ribbon cable all the time. So I kind of like that design better. I had some extra Bowden tube and I used it. But what this is, this is an optical filament out sensor. So it doesn't require contact with the filament. Uh, only caveat is it doesn't work with transparent film. But this filament out sensor is made to go straight to the pie. So I'm not going to bother modifying my firmware or do anything like that. I run stock firmware. It'll hook to a couple of GPIO pins on the pie. And the pie will pause print when filament runs out. Last but not least, the Tebow Tornado. It just prints and prints and prints like the Energizer Bunny. Um, I've said it before, I've yet to have a failed print since my last video, not one. I haven't adjusted the bed since my last video. So, it's so, look at that, look at that surface. Pretty darn nice. I like this silver PLA from Monoprice, but again, we're all of them are making the same boat. Coming out. Looking pretty good. Uh, really happy with the Tornado. I did order an upgraded main board. The main board has the A4982 stepper drivers instead of the HR4982 stepper drivers. This allows me to put the TL smoothers on and actually get benefit from them, and which will hopefully reduce the salmon skin. Ah, uh, I did do a, a print. Here's a nice print I can show you. That shows off salmon skin pretty well. Doesn't... Right there. This was a cup I printed. <laughs> it, it actually was a sample model off of the Creality sample STL files that were included with the Ender 2. Uh, another couple things I can show you the difference uh, the fan upgrade made. So this shroud is for an Ender 2, this red one. Okay. Now if you look at the top of it, you'll see where it had trouble bridging. This was printed with no supports. Had all kinds of problems bridging. This was printed on the Monoprice Maker Ultimate. I reprinted the same thing after the upgrade of fan and while it's not perfect at least not on the inside it's absolutely a functional part much 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 cleaner much better cooling made a big difference so and that's the next upgrade is the ender 2 is getting a cooling upgrade as well as the tornado is going to get a cooling upgrade the tornado is getting new control box fans because those ones are screamers uh, when the new motherboard comes in, I'm going to put that in. I'll do a video on that as well as the TL Smoother install. Probably the fan swap as well. And we're going to upgrade to Marlin 1.16. I'm still running 1.1 on that printer. Alright, well, everybody, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing to the channel. We'll try to get something out soon. In the next half a week or so, we'll get another video out with something uh, hopefully instructional or review-oriented, uh, less so of an update video. Okay, thanks everyone. Have a good one. Bye-bye.